College Classic. Did you say College Classic Campus? Well, sure you did. The reading on Dr. Erwin Lutzer's God's Devil, forwarded by R.C. Sprawl, and uh, it's pretty good. <coughs> and um, I'm sorry, right now I have a horrible, horrible flu. And uh, I'm just of, um, of chapter 9. We're going into chapter 10, and we're almost done. We have just a few more chapters left of this book to read, and we're done. Um, we have, uh, what, what I have here is uh, the lake of fire I'm looking at in the ending of this book, and it's very dramatic. Um, I would ask you to be very alert when we read that one. This book has 12 chapters in it, so basically we're going into chapter 10, 11, and 12. We have three chapters left. That's it. Um, I enjoyed this book, and I, I hope you do too. Um, we're going to go into other books uh, that we're going to read because we're not going to focus just on one, one author. Um, Dr. David Jeremiah is one that we seem to be picking on a lot. Um, we can't pick favoritism, but we have other books here that we're going to read and we're going to highlight as we read online. Some we can't read online as they won't allow us to, like John Hagee's. But I can read you verses from the chapters online. And so that's what I will do with you while I'm reading that book. Um, in the meantime, we're going to do the devotionals, which we can do online. Um, this is College Classic Campus Hits. Um, Merry Christmas. Uh, false religions. Do you know any false religions? Well, a lot of people believe Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses are a false religion. And some people even go as far as to say Catholicism, Lutheranism, or Protestantism. Of false religions. Um, I fear those uh, judgments upon my own flesh and my own soul. Uh, I, I'm not perfect and I, I don't choose to judge anyone. I, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, Catholics, Protestants, Lutherans. Uh, I give you a personal opinion about how I feel about Luther, or Protestantism, or, or Mormonism. Or even uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. But uh, I, I'm not going to judge them in condemnation. I'm not going to do that. I just don't think that I have the qualifications for that. Uh, seeing how I'm a sinner. Um, false religions. Well, Satan inspires uh, people to veer off into false cults that dethrone Christ. He leads people into strange occult doctrines. Now, the Spirit expressly says that in the latter times, the some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons, 1 Timothy 4.1. Um, we see that um, in the latter days that there's going to be a great befalling. Many are going to turn from God. But here's the funny thing is that uh, Islam, not Muslims, not Hindus, not Buddhists, not uh, Catholicism, not Mormonism, not Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, not Christianity, but Islamism or Islam has become the greatest known faith and religion in the world right now. That's what they're saying, and I, I don't know if that's true completely, but they're claiming that Islam is the is one of the greatest faiths there is. <laughs> It's just overwhelmingly spreading. They claim it's spreading so bad it should hit at least one third of the world. And it's shocking to hear that, but that's what we hear. And when you even mention that, you start hearing spiritual voices claiming that's a lie, and you start hearing all kinds of, uh, 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 how do you say, uh, adversary. Spiritually and physically, people don't like it. They don't. They don't like you to say anything against Islam, and they get ugly about it. 
And to be quite honest with you, in a in a Christian nation, uh, that's 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 bad. That's bad because that means that they uh, they're not sitting quietly anymore. But not that we want them to sit quiet, but we don't want to argue about this, do we? I most certainly don't while I'm taping this. Those are statistics that have been read by me and others. So, now the Spirit expressly says that in a latter time, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits. And teachings of demons. First Timothy four one. These teachings might range from uh, cynicism to uh, theoretical speculations about the spirit world. Paul said that when the heathens offer sacrifices to their gods, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. And I do not want you to become sharers in demons, nor do I want you to be ignorant of the Spirit, 1 Corinthians 12. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons, 1 Corinthians 10, 20 through 21. In Deuteronomy 18, 9 through 12, God lists various heathen practices that are an abomination. These include child abuse, divination, witchcraft, omens, sorcery, curses, mediums, seances, and the like. These are all satanic counterfeits instigated to take the place of the true God. There are, of course, many other forms of occultism. Now, this isn't the cult. Cult is a religious organization, belief, or group. These are occult. This is Satanism. So these are all satanic counterfeits instigated to take the place of the true God. There are, of course, many other forms of occultism, many of them associated with mystical Eastern religions but we have to understand that and and we have to remember of course we have to remember that the spiritualities are not all holy spirit no matter how strong or deceptive they may be though we may claim them to be holy spirit or one may claim them to be the holy spirit doesn't mean they are when we see uh, Job and all his friends run from him and turn from him, and he has nothing left but him and one friend in God. And as even his wife tells him, curse the name of God. We see here that temptation in, is strong. The spirit is strong that fell upon him. Very strong, almost. So it was God himself judging him. But it wasn't a Satan. Then we see in Jonah, Jonah wanting these people destroyed, and God saying, no, I will not destroy them. You must prophesy to them and tell them. And he does that, and God delivers them. It can be very confusing if you don't know what you're doing. It can be very confusing horribly. That's why it's necessary before we judge someone know what we're doing. It's college classic campuses on TC Bar. God bless you.